ready to receive the word. Sasa tuko tayari kusikiza. Because this is youth um youth week. Kwa sababu hii ni wiki ya vijana. Our ministers today have been young people as you've seen in your bulletin. Wanaaji wetu leo ni vijana kama vile umeona katika matangazo. And this service is no different. Na ibada hii si tofauti. We have an amazing amazing man of God coming to speak to us. Tuko na kijana mzuri sana wa Mungu anakuja kutunenea. He leads the mbogi that is called Axis which is our college life. Anaongoza kikundi cha Axis. They have come to support their own. So I want us to rise to our feet. Kwa ugana nasi pamoja tusimame. Put our hands together as we celebrate Jesus and invite Victor Wanjala to come on over. Come on celebrate until he gets here. Celebrate Jesus. Pigia makofi. for having given us this opportunity kwa sababu ya kutupa fursa hii to come and minister here ili tukuje na tuweze kuhudumu hapa and the entire church the pastoral team pia kanisa rote na uongozi wa wachungaji for also allowing us to minister here pia kwa kuturuhusu tuweze tukahudumu hapa indeed it's not a small thing kwa hivyo si kitu kidogo na tunamshukuru Mungu pia for the grace because it is not us Tunashukuru Mungu kwa neema kwa sababu sio sisi. Yeah, it's not because we are sufficient in ourselves that we can say of anything as be coming from us. Lakini si kusema ati ni kwa ukamilifu wetu. But our sufficiency comes from God. Lakini ukamilifu wetu unatoka kwa Mungu. Amen. Amen. And just because it's me who is here. Na kwa kwa sababu kuwa ni mimi niko hapa. And kwa sababu pia I can be biased if I want. Na kwa sababu naweza egemea upande mmoja nikitaka. I want to appreciate two things, two people. Nataka kuwashukuru watu wawili the most amazing father Aba ni baba wetu uh, yeah. wangu wa ajabu sana yeah, a father in the vision pastor edward mulwa uh, mchugaji edward mulwa ni baba wa mpigie makofi mpigie makofi asante yeah hawa ndio wale watu tunasemanga hawa ni wale wasi and the other people the other group of people that I love to appreciate kikundi kingine ambacho nataka kutambua yeah walisikia tuko hapa leo na wakakuja uh, team axis uh, team ya axis i love you people na wapenda nyinyi watu yeah so yeah tutaenda straight to the word uh, tutaenda moja kwa moja kwa neno and today we'll be hanging out in the book of romans na leo tutakuwa tunasoma kitabu cha warumi so if you have your bible kindly switch them on uh, kama uko na biblia yako unaweza ifungua and let us swipe uh, na tuweze kuipitisha pile uh, hadi romans chapter 13 uh, paka kitabu cha warumi sura ya 13 yeah and uh, before we start kabla tujaanza i have a small story niko na hadithi kidogo fupi uh, you all remember when you were young sauta tunakumbuka wakati tulikuwa wachanga and your parents na were going for a journey ama walikuwa wanaenda safari mahali wazazi wako wanaondoka kwenda safari and walikuwa nakwambia endo jitayarishe tutaenda pamoja and after you are going to prepare na ukishaenda kujiandaa kidogo kidogo narudi tu hivi hawako then at that moment you feel betrayed you feel adopted na wakati huo unahisi kwamba umeachiliwa sana unataka kuuliza nyinyi ni wazazi wangu kweli but after they are back they come with goodies lakini baadaye kisha wanarejea na mambo mazuri halafu wewe hapo hata unasahau kama ni yao walikuacha so today that will be part of what you're going to talk about hiyo itakuwa ni sehemu ya mambo ambayo tutajadilia that we have been told that the journey is about to start the time is coming 
na tumeambiwa kwamba safari iko karibu kuanza na wakati unawaandia and therefore prepare yourself kwa hivyo tujiandae but in this case lakini kwa wakati huu our parents has no intention of leaving us uh, wazazi wetu hana nia ya kutuacha but we are the ones who just don't want to prepare lakini sisi ndio tunaonekana hatutaki kujiandaa haya sawa sawa so I'll read from the book of Romans chapter 13 tutasoma katika kitabu cha Warumi sura ya 13 from verse 11 kuanzia aya ya 11 all the way to 14 uh, paka 14 and it says inasema and do this knowing the time tunaweza soma pamoja tafadhali and do this knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep For now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Therefore, let us cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly as in the day, not in rivalry and in drunkenness, not in lewdness and in lust, not in strife and in envy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lust thereof. Aya tuta amini na tuombe. Almighty and everlasting Father, we come before you this morning, O Jehovah, dear Lord. We thank you, O King of all glory, for this opportunity, O Jehovah, that you have bring us to this place, Father, that we may feed from you, O King of all glory. And Father, this I ask, O Jehovah, dear Lord, that, dear Lord, you shall allow me to step out of your way, King of all glory, that you minister to your children, O Jehovah, dear Lord, that you shall speak to me and you shall speak through me, O King of all glory. And we ask, O Jehovah, dear Lord, that what we do not have, O Jehovah, King of all glory, you will give us through your word, our Father, that we do not know, O King of all glory, you will teach us through your word, O King of all grace, and that which we are not, our Father, Please make us through your word, O King of all glory. Father, we pray this to the glory of your name and to the joy of our hearts. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. So, uh, Paul uh, Paul uh, wrote this letter after he had given them a way of living aliwaandikia hiyo barua baada ya kuelekeza jinsi ya kuishi yeah he had given them the theory parts na alikuwa amewaandikia kuhusu maandiko ama tafsiri yenyewe because previously when you go through these scriptures from Romans chapter 1 all the way to still where we have reached and even ukiendelea kuenda ukisoma maandiko ya kuanzia Rumi pale mwanzo mpaka mahali tumefikisha na kuendelea you see Paul giving instructions on how to go about this new life that you have received Paulo anawapatia maagizo jinsi ya kuendelea kuishi katika maisha haya It's like it was class work class work class work each and every time Ilikuwa ni kama mafunzo ya darasa ya darasa kila wakati But then he gets to a point and he decides not to give them a homework Na ikafika mahali akaona sasa hata wapatia tu kazi ya kufanyia nyumbani and that it will, it will no longer be the theory part of it yeah but then they have to be practical practical about what they are being taught in that theory and he decides to call them to a place of a spiritual awakening that after he has taught them he has taught them all these things it is not enough just to be taught all these things there is something else that you must do and that's why he calls them to a place of awakening from and he tells them that and now I know I knowing the time that it is now high time when to awake he tells them that this is the right time to awake that you've been doing this thing for far too long and now this is the time to awake this is the time to go to do this practically and you see it's one of the scriptures that you read and you're like yes nataka kuishi maisha sai sai Yes, this is basically what I want. This is what I want. Nataka niamke sai. Na nianze kuishi hii maisha vile ninaambiwa niishi. But again you come he gets to this place saying 
that because you have been taught all these things nakisha nawaambia kwa sababu umefunzwa haya mambo yote yeah now come and leave these things jioni sasa na muweze kuishi mambo haya sasa but again lakini tena ile place ya kusimama so that you will leave these things na mahali imefika na ili uweze kuishi mambo haya kidogo inakuja inakuwa kasharich shika your rule. Eh, kidogo inakuja inakuwa ka challenge kidogo but you get, you get to a place that yes I want to do this but unaifanya tu passively you are not active in this. Unafika makali unataka kufanya hii jambo lakini ufanyi kwa kumaanisha. Eh we unaifanya tu passively it's like ah nacha tu nifanye tu because it's a no mama we are living at a place of I'll just do this because it is required of me utafanya hili jambo kwa sababu ni wajibu wako ama inatekikana ulifanye not from a place of this is what i really want to lakini do lakini haufanyi kutokana na ile hali ya lazima nifanye hiki kitu ama nahisi kufanya hili jambo and again he was telling them that as believers na pia alikuwa anawaambia kama waumini we have not joined a social club sisi hatujajiunga tu kwa kikundi tu kwa kijamii you see this is not just an addition to what you've been living yes. see Isi kuongezea tu kwa ile hali umekuwa tu mkiishi. Eh yeah, this is the way you should live. This is how you ought to do this thing. Lakini hivi ndivyo inatakikana tufanye hili jambo. You see the way we write a CV and you're like hey, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this then I'm also a believer. Ni kama vile unaandikanga maelezo kukuhusu unasema naweza fanya hili na hili na hili. And Paul was telling them that this is not the right way to do this thing. Na Paulo akawaambia hili sio jia sahihi ya kufanya haya. You ought to leave this thing. It's not an addition. It's a requirement of you. Inatakikana muishi hivi si kuongezewa tu jinsi mlikuwa mnaishi. And so he calls them to he, he tells them to awake from their spiritual sleep na anawaambia waamke katika hali yao ya kulala kiroho ya kwamba you've been fed a lot mmepatiwa all that you need because the bible has always been sufficient the word of god has always been sufficient for that your season yenye huko kama let's say from the beginning of time kwa sababu neno la Mungu limekuwa za kutosheresha kwa mfano tukisema tangia mwanzo wa wakati the, the israelites were in the journey waki cross all the way to nini from wow. Egypt all the way to Canaan. Au Israeli wakiwa safarini kutoka pale Misri mpaka Kanani. They did not have Romans. Hawakuwa na wale wa Rumi. They did not have Matthew. Hawakuwa na Mathai. Neither did they have Revelation. Hata hawakuwa na ufunuo. But whatever it is that they had. Lakini abacho walikuwa nacho. The sermons from Moses. Walikuwa na jumbe kutoka kwa Musa. They were always enough. Ilikuwa enough yao to live the whole life. Ilikuwa inawatosha kuishi ile maisha yao kwa ukamilifu. To live the whole thing, the whole life in God. And kuishi maisha yao yote ka, katika Mungu. So wangesema ati yo unajua tumejaribu kusoma na hii Kenya tumesoma tuoni kai kona majibu zingine but they were given the whole thing the whole scripture it was sufficient for that season it was enough for that season that and that season and that dispensation that they were in lakini yale maandiko aliyopewa na mahubiri ilikuwa inawatosha katika zamu ile and so it's like Paul is saying that what I've already given you is enough na Paulo anawaambia kama ambao nimewapatia yatosha it's about time we did this thing haitoshi ni wakati sasa tuamke na tufanye haya mambo sasa and then he continues and says for na, now here verse 11 again but be for now our salvation is near than when we na pale mstari wa 11 inaambia na sasa wakati umefika na wakovu wetu umekaribia kuliko yeah uh, than when we first believe kuliko wakati tuliamini kwanza you, you see if you were to tell adam that your salvation is now nearer than when you first believe na uh, ukimwambia mtu ama adam kwamba wako wakovu wake umekaribia kuliko pale awali alipoamini uh, adam would have looked at you and talk and, and be like uh, Adamu angekuangalia hivi na shidwe nini wakofu gani? Wakofu gani hiyo unaongelea? You see because this guy kwa sababu mtu huyu it was straight from God he just came huwa and he was there. Alitoka kwa Mungu tu moja kwa moja na akawa pale. Until sin came in. Mpaka pale dhambi ilipoingilia. It is nini it is written that all these people that have gone before us imeandikwa kwamba watu wote ambao walichutangulia they just had of this salvation they had of this thing walisikia tu kuhusu huo wakovu ama mambo haya but they never got to be part of this lakini hawakuweza kusabika kuwa miongoni mwa they prophesied they prophesied about the coming messiah lakini walitabiri kuhusu messiah ajaye but, but none of them got to see this person lakini hakuna yeyote aliyemweza kumuona yeah, yeah they had seen the visions they had the dreams 
but they were still they, they still had an expectation hiki tu itafanyika lini and you see even after the last book in the Old Testament hata baada ya kitabu cha mwisho wa agano la kale tunakaa another 400 years inakaa mdo wa miaka before the new testament kabla ya agano chipya and before Christ is made manifest so if I told you uh, they are back in that day or let's say like yeah, Methuselah this guy had lived an entire lifetime so ungekuwa yeye pia we ungeboweka useme ayii kwani nyinyi hakuna kitu kingine mtatuambia mbona tuoni hiyo kwa mnasema mbona tuoni the deliverer of Israel akikuja mbona tuoni mkobozi akija yeah but still again inakuja if if you are to say this thing back in the day yes they knew that this salvation was coming but kama tugeangalia maneno haya kwa zile siku ni kweli uokofu ulikuwa unaja yeah but they never saw this thing lakini hawakuona but we on the other hand lakini kwa upande mwingine when you re, when you go to the book of john chapter 1 when john says that they had been witnesses na. of jesus christ tukienda katika kitabu cha yohana tunaona kwamba wao walifanyika mashahidi wa Yesu Kristo they have seen they have seen what this person was they have seen what, the, what, what he did na waliweza kuona ni nini alichokitenda and they have been witnesses na wao wamekuwa shahidi so what was being waited for from the beginning ambao walikuwa wanatarajiwa kuanzia pale mwanzo has been, has been made manifest in our dispensation to us imedhihirishwa katika zamu hii kwetu sisi and he says that our salvation is now nearer than when we first believed na inasema wako wetu umewaadia kuliko wakati wa kwanza tulipoamini so to mean that kwa hivyo inamaanisha even after you accepting jesus christ hata baada ya kumpokea yesu kristo we are not just living life evil to madhogodhanio atuishi tu maisha hivi bila mpangilio or kiundu those style a bila mpangilio wowote hapana there is a way that you ought to live this Una thing jinsi ambao tunafaa kuishi maisha haya there is a way that god says that my people this is how you ought to do this thing this is the way that you ought to walk in kuna jia ambao mungu anasema watu wangu tunafaa kuelekea jia kama hii because there is an aim at the end of the day kwa sababu kuna shabaha ya mwisho wa siku that when the master comes kwamba wakati bwana ataja he shall also find you in him not getting caught up in the things of this world not spiritually dead but alive and active in him not, not just being a passive believer but being an active believer living this life to the fullest and then he comes and gives us a motive this is the reason as to why you ought to live this life this is the reason as why you ought now to be awake na hii ndio sababu tunafaa kuwa hivi alafu because i know i'm speaking to kenyans kwa sababu hako wanawanenewa kenya watu ambao tulichukua huduma namba siku ya mwisho <laughs> yeah thank you ninajua tuko wengi lakini hao si wa service hii service watu wameokoka hao walikuja express na celebration i know this service watu walichukua huduma namba on time si ni kweli yeah thank you and because we are Kenyans we have this tendency of doing things at the deadline ile sisi kama wa Kenya tuna mtindo huu wa kufanya ajabu siku ya mwisho ile wakati chuma ni moto and then there are threats and there are everything and you're like ha where will we live from na kuna matisho na tunajiuliza sasa tutakibiria wapi sasa uko hapo unasema ah let me just do this thing because inafa inahitaji inahitaji but we have had the time from before of doing this thing mekuwa na wakati kuanzia pale mwanzo ya kutenda jambo hilo but still tunakuja tu pale tunatulia alafu tuko when the time comes ah nitafanya tu and then when the time comes uko wow na wakati ukifika unashangaa ili wakati imeisha haraka and then we complain ha tukupewa enough time hadi kwa tunajua alam kusema lines ili but we had the time right lakini tulikuwa na munda lakini tunajipata bado tunanogonea and that's why he gives us the the nini the motive of living this life na ndio maana anatupa muongozo ama sababu ya kuishi maisha haya so that at the end you are not get caught up up uh, in that place of wow ili maisha mwisho yetu sijipate kwamba tumepata hatujajitayarisha but because you have known that time inaenda lakini kwa sababu tumejua muda unaenda hauifanyi kwa sababu kuna deadline unaifanya even way before the deadline 
before wakati ya uh, before the deadline reaches we will share maliza kazi yako and you're just there sitting and wait and waiting that's the aim of this thing that's why Paul tells them it's time to awake na ndio maana paulo anasema huu ndio muongoze na ndio nawaambia huu ndio wakati wa kuamka don't wait for a certain day to come you just awake right now usitarajie mpaka siku fulani itakuja we amka tu wakati huu because you have received this light because you have received jesus this jesus christ kwa sababu mpokea yesu maishani and therefore you walk in him as early as now kwa hivyo tembea ndani mwake awali kama wakati huu and he says because our master is coming the coming the coming of our master is at hand na kwa sababu unasema kuja kwa bwana yetu kumekaribia and then live this life right now kwa hivyo ishi maisha haya wakati huu sasa okay and, and through scripture through scripture there are many motives of living this christian life na katika maandiko kuna jinsi nyingi ama sababu nyingi za kuishi maisha ya ukristo the, the first one is because of our new nature uh, wakati mwingine tunaishi kwa sababu ya jinsia yetu jipya that because we are dead to sin and alive in god that is in romans chapter 6 verse 11 ni kwa sababu sisi tumekufa katika dhambi lakini tuko hai katika yesu anasema because uh, likewise you also rec- on yourselves to be dead indeed to sin but alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord anasema pia nyinyi kwamba mnakumbuka kwamba umekufa katika dhambi lakini mko hali hai katika Kristo Yesu bwana wetu then this is your new nature kwa hivyo hii ndio hali hali yako ya jinsi yako jipya then you live like the way this person is kwa hivyo unafaa kuishi kama jinsi mtu alivyo also in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 22 katika waefeso 4 mstari wa 2 that you put off concerning your former conduct the old man which grows corrupt according to them deceitful lusts kwa ba tukishaoondoa ile hali yetu ya ujinsia ya pale kitambo ambao ilikuwa ina uovu and be renewed in the spirit of your mind tufanyike upya katika mawazo yetu kiroho you see we have a new nature kwa hivyo tuko na hali ya jinsi jipya that requires us to live that should be a motive of us living this Ab- christian life ambayo inaweza kuwa sababu kuu yetu ya kuishi maisha haya ya ukristo and the second nini motive is the nature of the one who has called us na sababu ya pili ya kuishi ni kwa sababu ya jinsi ya aliyetuita and we, when we get this from first peter chapter f- chapter 1 uh, tutaona katika kitabu cha waraka wa petero wa kwanza verse 15 all the way to 17 uh, mstari wa 15 hadi 17 and it says but as he has called but as he who called you is holy you also be holy in all your conduct na kama jinsi aliyekuita ni mtakatifu pia wewe ukuwe mtakatifu katika miondoko yako verse 16 because it is written be holy for i am holy kwa sababu imenakirika kuwa mtakatifu maana mimi ni mtakatifu and, the, and if you call on the and if you call on the father who without partiality judges according to the to each one's work conduct yourself through the con, conduct conduct your conduct yourself through the time of your stay here in fear na kama vile baba yetu bila upaguzi wowote ni kwamba ana hukumu kile mmoja kulingana na matendo ya kazi yake kwa wakati wote uh, bila uoga ukae and you see because of the nature of the person that has called us into this journey na kwa sababu ya asili ya aliyetuita katika safari hii therefore hi. this is another motive of us living this life kwa hivyo hii ni sababu nyingine yetu ya kuishi maisha haya and then the other nini the other motive is because we know the season and the times uh, na sababu ya tatu ya sisi kuishi ni kwamba tunagundua wakati umefika because you are in light of these things because you are not walking blind you have see, you have read these things you have been taught these things nilikuwa sababu sisi tunaona sipi vipovu na tumefunzwa kuhusu mambo haya and he says that because we are in this season because you know these things na tunajua tuko katika zamu hii and na tunajua mambo haya that's in first Thessalonians chapter 5 from verse 1 to 6 wa Thessalonike wa kwanza 5 first Thessalonians chapter 1 from verse 5 Thessalonike wa kwanza chapter 5 chapter 5 from verse 1 to 6 wa Thessalonike wa kwanza sura ya tano mstari wa kwanza hadi wa sita and it says but concerning the time and the season brethren you have no need that i should write to you akulingana na wakati dugu zangu sasa hainipasi kuandikia for you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the lord so comes as a thief in the night kwa sababu mwafahamu fika ni kwamba siku ya bwana inawaajia kama mwizi usiku Verse 3 For when for when they say peace and safety then sudden destruction comes upon them 
as labor pains upon a pregnant woman and they shall not escape kwa sababu wakati mwingine unasema amani na usalama lakini punde tu mambo yanawajia kwa ghafla kama vile utungu kwa mama mjamzito verse 4 mstari wa 4 but you brethren are not in the darkness so that this day should overtake you as a thief lakini enyi dugu zangu hamko katika giza ili siku iwapate kama mwizi you are all sons of light and sons of the day we are not of the night on, we are not of the night nor of darkness lakini nyinyi ni wana wa mwanga na wana wa siku lakini ni si wana wa usiku ama wa giza then verse 6 mstari wa 6 therefore let us not sleep as others do but let us watch and be sober lakini tusirare kama wengine wanavyorara wacha sisi tukae macho na tuwe timamu yeah we know the season that we are in tunajua majira haya ambayo tuko katika and that's the season just before the coming of our master na hiyo ni majira ambayo kabla tu kuja kwa bwana yetu haya and the last nini the last nini reason uh, the last motive through a scripture that gives us the need to live this life that's a motive of us living this life na sababu yetu ya ine ambayo inatusababia inatusababisha kuishi maisha haya ya ukristo because of the nature because of the nature of the of this of this very journey ni kwa sababu ya asili ya hali hii yetu ya safari we cannot afford to live this journey in a different way hatuwezi mundu kuishi safari hii kwa njia nyingine tofauti paul's letter to timothy he tells him uh, barua ya kwanza kwa timotheo kutoka kwa paulo no one serving uh, no paul the second nini letter of paul second uh, timothy from chapter chapter 2 from verse three all the way to five ah uh, kunradhi barua waraka wa pili wake paulo kwa timotheo uh, sura ya pili tatu kuendelea verse 4 verse 4 mstari wa 4 yeah no one engage in affair entangles himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier lakini hakuna yeyote ambaye apiga naye katika vita anajishikamenisha na mambo ya ulimwengu huu na ili aweze kumfurahisha aliye mtuma kama askari verse 5 mstari wa 5 and also If anyone comp- competes in athletics he is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. Na yote ambaye anashiriki katika riadha hapewi taji ila tu atashiriki kuligana na kanuni. You see there is a way that we ought to do this thing. Unaona kuna jinsi ambao tunafaa kufanya mambo haya. Again it, it, it comes back to that place of we are not just doing this thing for the sake. Na pia inaturejesha pale kuona kwamba hatufanyi hili jambo tu kwa sababu tu wa vyovyo. There is a th- there is a way that you are required to go about this lakini kuna maadili ama kuna ile jia tunafaa kuifuata and that's why Paul tells Timothy that if at all you are serving as a soldier you are not Paulo anamwambia Timotheo iwapo wewe unafanya kama askari mwanajeshi you are not getting caught up in these civilian affairs you are just there focused on pleasing your in your master the, the master the one who has enlisted you in the in the army ikiwa hapa unafanya kama mwanajeshi ni kwamba hausiki sana na kutangamana na mambo ya raia lakini unafanya na kanuni kwa aliye kutuma kuwa kushiriki katika lile jeshi so he gives us he gives them the motive the night is far spent na anawaambia sababu ni hii kwa sababu usiku umeenda sana yeah and it's about time that you people are awake na ni wakati umefika na nyinyi watu muweze kukamka and therefore verse 13 inasema letter uh, verse 12 in, uh, letters The night is far spent the day is at hand. Um, mstari wa 12 inasema ni kwamba usiku umeenda sana na mchana umekaribia. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Kwa hivyo tu Kwa hivyo tuziondoe zile hali zote ama kazi zote za giza na tujitwike siraha za mwanga. Uh, verse 13 let us not let us walk honestly as in the day not in rioting and in drunkenness not in chambering and in wantonness not in strife and in envying you see he tells them that let us therefore cast off every works of darkness okay. and and let us put on an armor of light kwa hivyo anawaambia kwamba tukaziondoe zile kazi zote za giza na tukaweza kujitwika siraha za mwanga and he is he is saying he is telling these people you know what instead of you just sitting there instead of you continuing living this life the way you used to live this is now how you ought to live put on the armor of light na naambia nyinyi watu hamtaendelea kuishi kama jinsi umekuwa mkiishi lakini sasa mtakuwa mnaishi kwa jinsi hii kwa hivyo jitwikeni siraha za mwanga or in, a, in another case you could say that he was telling these people you guys ought to be the light and kwa jinsi nyingine tukitafsiri kwamba alikuwa anawaambia nyinyi mnafaa kuwa nuru and he's not saying that 
sasa let me kujeni niwaonyeshe mali hii muangaze iko let me kujeni niwaonyeshe mali hii nuru iko he's telling them that you guys be the light let these people be drawn be drawn unto you as you as you are also leading them one to Jesus Christ lakini anawaambia nyinyi watu wacha umati wa uone nyinyi kama nuru hata mnapowaelekeza watu kwake Kristo and he himself he himself does that uh, and when you read in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1 na pia yeye anafanya hivyo kama vile tutaona katika maandiko wa Korintho wa kwanza 1 Corinthians yeah imitate me just as All, just as I also imitate Christ. Maandiko inasema mniige mimi kama jinsi ninavyomuiga Kristo. You see he was not only just telling them that you 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 are following Jesus Christ. Hakuwa naambia tu mfuate tu Yesu. But he was also walking with them showing showing them that this is how you follow Jesus Christ. Lakini pia alikuwa anaondoka na wana anawaambia hivi ndivyo mnafaa kumfuata Yesu. Yes we are focusing on Jesus as the author and finisher of our salvation. Ni kweli tunamwangazia Yesu kama mwanzilishi na mkamilishi wa wokovu wetu. But also what we are doing what we are doing uh, the way we are living our lives. Lakini vile jinsi tunavyoishi maisha yetu. Ni ushuhuda kwa mtu mwingine ya kwamba aliona Yesu mahali. Yeah and and again he tells them that now because you guys are supposed to be the light the new people ought to live differently not in the things that you are doing you are not telling these people that you know what it's bad to do this thing or it's good to do these things kuna radhi na anawaambia nyinyi watu ni kwa sababu mmefanyika upya mhamfai kuendelea kuishi jinsi mmekuwa mkiishi lakini kuwe na tofauti he is not telling them that okay these things are bad and he himself is not doing ama is doing them awaelezi tu kwamba haya mambo si mazuri na lakini yeye anawaonyesha kwa matendo yeah yeah he himself is doing them he himself is being the light that these people required yeye anafanyika kwa matendo na anafanyika nuru ambayo hii hawa watu wanaihitaji and he also in first peter chapter 1 verse first peter chapter 1 verse 13 to 15 uh, katika waraka wa petero wa kwanza sura ya kwanza 15 it, uh, it gives us another direction of how to live this life as a bit Therefore guard yourself guard up the loins of your mind be sober and rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ Anawaambia kwamba muka mukajirinde katika viuno vya mawazo yenu mwetimamu na mpumzike kwa tumaini ya neema ya ufunuo uliletwa kwa na Yesu Kristo As obedient children not conforming yourselves to the former lust as in in your, as in your ignorance. Kwamba mkafanyike wana ambao wanati a msikue kama watu ambao walikuwa katika tamaa mbaya wakati wa kutojua kwenu. But as he who called you is holy you also be holy in all your conduct. Na kama jinsi aliyewaita yeye ni mtakatifu nanyi mkuu watakatifu katika miodoko yenu. Yeah again Peter tells them that you know what we you are not living this life again the way you used to live this life. Kwa hivyo Petro pia anawaambia kwa mtaishi maisha hii jinsi mlikuwa umezoea. But because of the nature of the person that has called you. Lakini kwa sababu ya asili ya abaye aliwaita. Then you ought to also be transformed and to be renewed and be like this new this person that has called you into this journey. Mnafahamu badilishwe hali yenu ya mawazo ili mkuwe kama huyu abaye amewaita katika safari hii. Colossians chapter 2 from verse 6 to 7 it says. Wa Korosai 2 uh, pale that as you Sita. therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord so walk in him ana kama jinsi mlivyompokea Kristo Yesu Bwana tebeni ndani mwake verse 7 stari wa 7 rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as you have been taught abounding in it abounding in it with thanksgiving mkifanyika mizizi ndani mwake katika imani kama jinsi mlivyofunzwa kwa shukurani yeah, so just having jesus and just living this passive life is not enough kwa hivyo kuwa tu na yesu na kuishi maisha hii bila lego haitoshi yeah there is a way that you ought to live this thing kuna jinsi unavyofaa kuishi maisha haya and then after those uh, after verse 12 and 13 when paul gives them the way when he tells them not to get caught up in the things of this world 
Mahali Paulo anawaambia kwamba usihusike sana na mambo ya huu ulimwengu. And like these other places where he tells them don't get don't do this don't do this but right now do this and this. Anawaambia msifanye haya na haya lakini sasa mfanye hili na hili na hili. This time he doesn't give them what to do. Sasa hizi hawaambii nini watafanya. He doesn't give he doesn't give them the 10 ways on how to be holy. Hawaambii ati jinsi 10 jinsi hali 10 ya kuwa mtakatifu. Hawaambii sasa ati now put on faith, now put on love, now put on anything or everything. Ama anawaambia msijitwika imani, tumaini na hili lingine. But this time he comes and give them the ultimate solution. Lakini sasa anakuja na anapatia suluhu ya hatimaye. Anawaambia but put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. Anawaambia mjitwike Yesu Kristo. Because if we have Jesus Christ, if we clothe, if we clothe ourselves with Jesus Christ, kwa sababu tukijifika Yesu Kristo, and then we can be sure that as long as we are in a relationship with this person, na tutajua kwamba kila wakati tuko na uhusiano na huyu mtu, he will work in us and remove easy vitu zote zenye ziko huko nyuma. The sins and with that so easily entangle us. Atatuondoka pamoja nasi na atatuondolea vitu ambazo zinatukwaza zote. And again Paul, if you if you read the prayers of Paul, uh if you go through the prayers that he usually made anokitizama maombi ambayo paulo alikuwa naomba when he was when he was teaching that's when he gave people these instructions wakati alikuwa anafunza ndio aliwapatia watu hali hii maelezo haya anawaambia fanyeni hivi fanyeni hivi ama msifanye hivi na msifanye hivi but again when he comes to pray let's look at an example uh, in first in oh ephesians chapter 1 tuone maji ya maombi yake katika kitabu cha Waefeso yeah Ephesians chapter 1:15 to 23 uh, Waefeso sura ya kwanza mstari wa 15 Therefore I also after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and and, the, and your love for all the saints a baadaye kisha niliposikia kuhusu imani yenu kwa Bwana Yesu na upendo wenu kwa watakatifu Do not cease to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers. Eh kwa basi jakoma kushukuru kwa ajili yenu na nikiwataja katika maombi yangu. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory may give you may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Eh kwa basi Mungu wa Bwana Yesu Kristo baba wa utakatifu atawapa nyinyi roho wa hekima na ufunuo katika kufahamu yeye hiyo ni taachi hapo and then we go to nini we go to colossians chapter 1 verse uh, colossians chapter 1 verse 8 awa korosai sura ya kwanza mstari wa 8 who also declared uh, verse 8 to 20 who also declared to us your love in the spirit baba pia litangaza upendo wenu kwa roho For this reason we also we also since the day we had we had it do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and in spiritual understanding wacha tufike hapo bado tufikie pale kwamba katika hali zote tuliposikia hatukukoma kuwataja katika maombi na ili mkapata na ufahamu na hekima katika kuelewa kiroho you see when he's praying for these people wakati anaombea hawa watu paulo it's like anakuja in reverse form is like anakuja anaanzia kule mwisho akikuja na huku mbele that he gives them the ultimate solution for these things ni kama anawapatia suluhu ya mambo haya kwa ukamilifu he prays for the ultimate solution that because if these people have the revelation of Jesus Christ in their hearts kwamba suluhu ya mwisho ni kwamba iwapo watu watapata ufunuo wa Yesu Kristo then he is certain that that Jesus if you are communing and you're fellowshiping with him he'll not just come in there and stay there ni kwamba kama mko katika uhusiano na mnasemezana na Yesu hata kuja tu na kukaa tu vile pale atakuja na atafanya kazi kwa mai shako but you see he 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 tells them that he he starts from the end uh, he starts from the end it's like coming backwards and that's why he tells these people but put on lo- the lord jesus christ na ndio maana anawaambia kutoka anawaelezea kutoka nyuma akikuja hivi ndio maana anawaambia na mjitwike yesu kristo yeah this is the only solution this is the ultimate solution because if you have jesus christ kwa sababu hiyo ndio suluhu ya kipekee kwa sababu mkiwa naye Yesu and then the, all these things in your life he ought to change them na kwamba mambo haya yote katika maisha yenu atayabadilisha hata kuja tu na akae hapo ati kwa sababu umemuinvite na atakaa hapo but from a place of constant fellowship and communion with him 
lakini katika hali ya kusemezana na yeye kila wakati he works in you each and every day anakubadilisha and makes you be this very thing that he wants you to be na anakubadilisha kila siku na anakutengeneza kitu ambacho amenuia uwe and somebody was giving us an example about putting on the lord jesus christ na mtu alikuwa anatupatia mfano jinsi ya kujitwika yesu kristo i know because to, i know to, because today is sunday we are all in our sunday best ni kweli kwa sababu leo ni jumapili zote tumevaa vizuri kijumapili kitoka kwa nyumba ulikuwa unajiambia ah leo wasiponiambia ninajua niko sawa but there are those days when you just go out and you're like ah oh, ni sawa nimetoka tu but you cannot go out of your house naked si ni kweli lakini hata iwe nini huwezi toka nje ya nyumba yako kama huna nguo ati umesema wacha tu niende nikimbie hapa kwa duka ya mama na nini nunue blue band hivyo tu si tselai but we get out of our houses dressed lakini tunatoka manyumba zetu kama tumevaa nguo and for we as believers again na kwa hivyo sisi kama waumini tena we ought to put on the lord jesus christ and not walk uh, and not walk out there naked tunafaa kujifika yesu kristo lakini si kutembea bila and putting him uh, putting the lord jesus christ on na kujitwika yesu kristo you see it's not just enough ukivaa hiyo nguo yako mzuri haitoshi tu kuvaa ile nguo haukangi nayo hapo ndani ya nyumba unatoka anga huko nje watu wakuone si ni kweli ukiwa hiyo siku ambayo umevaa sunday best ukitoka pale nje unajua nisipoambiwa niko smart ninajua niko smart na ninajua watu wako na wivu sana because you are certain you have to show the world that this is my this is the best in the elect ninapenda sana that today i look good on thee i look good on this kwa sababu ungetaka kujidhihirisha kwa ulimwengu ni kwamba mimi najitambua na najua hivi ndivyo nilivyo and same to us you are not just putting jesus alafu tunakaa na yeye kwa nyumba na si pia sisi hatuvai tu yesu alafu tunakaa tu we are being alive and active in this work lakini tunajibidisha katika ulimwengu huu ama katika mwadoko huu that other people will see your sunday best ili watu wengine waweze kuona vazi lako mzuri na watataka kununua hiyo nguo yako pia amen that how wataona tu uambiage you know guys mimi nilinunua nguo lakini hawaionangi hmm? you are telling them that niko na nguo mzuri lakini hakuna mtu hata mmoja ameshaiona so ulinunua hiyo nguo ya nini kama haiko value uko nje but it's because you wanted people to see you look good in this am it's because that cloth really looked good in this that you didn't mind buying it lakini ni kwa sababu haukujarishwa uh, na uliona ile vazi ni mzuri sana ukaona ulinunue na ulivae yeah and because of that you made sure that ah because sina aibu nikivai nguo wacha nitembee nayo kule nje that other people may also see and also desire to buy the same same cloth and you know that feeling you get when to anakuliza na hii ulinunua wapi Uh, and, unaona ni vizuri uvalia ile vazi na ili hata ukiondoka huko nje watu wataliona watalitamani kununua vazi kama hili eh uh-huh, and you are, and you are just over there waiting acha niulizwe hii swali niwaambie sasa mali nilinunua and you tell them uko na unawaambia na ile sai kwa sababu you also desire that these people you 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 also desire that these people will, will look like you will look good like the way you are looking good si ni kweli lakini unakuwa una ujasiri na ukakamavu na kuelezea mahali uliipata kwa sababu pia wewe ungetamani watu wengine wakuwe wanapendeza kama wewe so we are putting on the lord jesus christ and we are walking with him outside there kwa hivyo tunajifika yesu kristo na tunatembea na yeye kule nje that other people may also see him ili watu wengine pia waweze kumuona it means in your workplace aina maanisha katika hali yako ya kazi you are living this life una ukae tu hapo ukisikia watu sijua naongea ma vitu gani alafu pia uko you know it's a democratic country it's a free world wewe fanya vile unataka hapana we are living this life that when you see a, a mistake is there because you know the right thing to do it to do you tell these people you know what that's not the way na kwa sababu tunajua tunaishi katika maisha haya ile jinsi tunafaa kuishi ni ukiona kitu kinatendeka na unarekebisha yeah you are telling these people that ah uh, you guys mnasema mmeokoka but is this really what this scripture says is this really what god is saying is this really how god is saying we conduct ourselves na unaona watu wa labda wakipotoka kidogo unaweza kuwarudi na unauliza kama hili ndivyo adiko linasema and at the end of the day if we all we sisi wote tutapatikana if we all be found dressed na mwisho wa siku iwapo sisi wote tutapatikana tukiwa tumejifika Yesu then there is no greater joy than that kwa hivyo hakuna furaha nyingine itakuwa imepita furaha hiyo okay i tend to imagine these things in my head na na jaribu tu kufikiria mambo kwa kichwa cha uh, that now we are in heaven na sasa nafikiri kwamba uh, tukiwa kama binguni alafu god is there 
Mungu wako pale. Alafu anaambia Gabriel, "Oye Gabu, umse na kwa umse alinivise siku zote mwanzee, hakuwa iniacha nyuma." Alafu Gabriel liko, "Eh, tulikuwa tunamuona. Tulikuwa tunaona venye umse ameva." Alafu chike aliambia hadi mabishte zake na kuambia liku sell. Eh? You see you imagine that that's me living in my head. Hiyo ni mimi nikitafakari tu katika mawazo yangu tukiwa mbinguni. And the, that, that's how they do uh, and Gabriel is like yeah yeah this person really 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 made other people desire this Jesus. Na kwa yeah? Gabriel atakuwa anasema huyu mtu ni kweli alifanya watu wengi wamtamani Yesu. And then when the conversation goes then kina Paulo wanakuja kina Mose wanakuja tu hapo hao wote alafu mnaendelea tu that the way these people live then then Paul uh, let's say Paul is just there and he looks at you and you're like Oh so he followed me as I followed Jesus. Pia wewe ile nguo nili nini? Nilinunua pia ulinunua the same same. Ah. And you see there you are just there and that conversation goes on and goes and goes on because it's a joy. Why? You all had put on Jesus Christ na nyinyi wote you are found. Na kama ulikuwa umejifika lile vazi la Yesu Kristo na hata majadiliano na hayo yanapoendelea kwa mawazo yangu labda Paulo akijumuika na wao pia itakuwa ni furaha kwamba atasema wewe ndio ulimuiga kama jinsi alikuwa anaiga Kristo. And the last part he says and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the last thereof. Ana hatimaye anawaambia kwamba msiweke nafasi yoyote ya kuruhusu mwili ufanye mahitaji yake. Again using the same example of your Sunday best. Kwa kupitia ule tu mfano wa nguo yako ile maridadi ya Jumapili. Kama wewe unaishi zima man, unajua kuzima man kukinyesha vile kuna kuanga aur kama unaishi zima man unajua pia zima man kukiwa na jua ile vumbi na kuanga huko hata ya ruiru atufiki but still ukitoka kwa nyumba when you are coming out of your place you are so very careful you are so very careful that ah let acha nifike mahali ninafika kwanza before he ngo ichafuke yes, it's true au na kuanga tu mwangalifu sana unasema kabla utoke kwa nyumba ujiride vizuri kabla nguo yako ichafuke and you you do not au ukiona nduthi ndio inakuja na kunanyesha unasonga huko nje ya barabara unaingia huko ndani ya kibanda huyu mtu asikumwagilie maji the same ukiona kitu kama gari na kuja na hapo kuna hiyo matope unasonga na huko kando kabisa that your cloth is not stained at all it's true au unajirinda kabisa goo yako ichichafuke and it says make no provision and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill their last their of anawaambia msiache nafasi yoyote ile ambao mwili utafanya mambo mabaya that you are not giving the devil a foothold ni kwamba haumpatii shetani fursa yoyote that how cheki cheki na yeye hapo ati kwa sababu umeona hii matope iko hapa na hii ndudhi uko ah sioni ni kama itansplash here hapana you are being careful unasonga kando and then when the bike passes wewe unaendelea na safari yako si true or hata kama hiyo siku wenye kuna vumbi unakanyaganga na ustaarabu usinue vumbi kuji huko nyuma ya longi if you are a man you understand this thing usinue vumbi ifike huko nyuma ya longi but you are just walking there ukiwa so very careful that at the end of the the aim is nifike mahali ninafika nikiwa nimengara tu vile nimengara kwa mfano huu ni kwamba unajitunza vizuri sana ni kwamba nguo yako isijaribu ikachafuka kabla hujafika upeo wako usiku we know we don't have a problem kwa sababu it's in the dark hakuna mtu anaona so you just walk anyhow but when you are coming out of your place you are so certain that i ought to reach this place nikiwa msafi vile niko he look leo lazima itese huenda hmm? ikakuwa labda usiku hatujari sana lakini kwa kawaida ni kwamba huwa tunajifunza tunajitunza vizuri sana ili tusiweze tukachafua vazi yeah and that's the same with our work of salvation you are not giving any provisions to the devil na hivyo divyo inapaswa katika mwondoko wetu wa kristo ni kwamba hatufai kumpa shetani fursa hata moja we are not being found where jesus is not found hatupatikani mahali yesu hayuko we are not doing things that jesus will not do ana hatufanyi vitu abazo Yesu hagefanya and you are not just going out of the house naked. Na sisi hatutoki nje tu ya nyumba tu kama hatuna nguo. Yeah so that that is all I had to share and today my challenge to you. Ah uh, changamoto yangu kwa kwenu leo ni hii. Is that we be found cloth each and every time. Ni kwamba kila siku patikane umevalia vazi. Uh, that at, at the end of the day tukipatana na wewe. Kwamba mwisho wa siku tukipatana. Sikulizi wear your clothes kwa sababu ninaziona. Amen. Amen. Na tubarikiwe. Uh, God bless you.